early in the morning, isn't it? What do you want, O'Brien? Better get back to the house, Marta. I will take her when we are ready. You will go home, and you will stay home. Leave him alone. That's what I'm doing. Now get out of here. Rosa's looking for you at the house. I'm not a little girl. You played me as if I were still ten years old. Now Alfredo will never come back. He'll be back. You insulted him. I'm a full-grown woman. Everybody watches me night and day, as if I should be playing with dolls. What right have you to tell me what to do? The general told me to take care of things while he was away. That includes his daughter. I'm not a thing. I'm a... Yeah, I know, I know. You're a full-grown woman. And that's the problem, Anita. What do you think the general would have done if he caught him in here with you? Huh. What would he say? Good morning, dear Alfredo. How is your lovely sister this morning? He's so afraid of offending the Rianos, he wouldn't care what happened to me. If my father can marry Francesca Riano, who am I not good enough to marry her brother? He asked you yet? Give me the tally sheets. I'm going out the rain shack. Alfredo! What is it, Francesca? I've been waiting for you. Where have you been? Uncle's been looking for you. What are you doing with the gun? What happened to you? Senor Ruiz O'Brien emptied it for me. As you can see, I'm reloading. These people are animals. It's time to treat them like animals. You were with Marta Camargo, weren't you? Why, Alfredo? Are you trying to embarrass me by hurting that girl? Girls like Marta always get hurt. I'm trying to help you, if you don't want to help yourself, with this, if I had to. That is no answer, Alfredo. I've made my decision. I don't understand you, since you return to us. How can you do it, Francesca? That Indian pig. He's a bandit, a murderer. Everybody knows about his women. He has children all over Mexico. Black as he is. She didn't promise me nothing. I was married before. Marta's blackness doesn't seem to keep you away from her. The only reason I have anything to do with her is because she is Camargo's daughter. I want to see our general, trying to keep me away from her. When I marry him, Alfredo... If you marry him. Alfredo? It's Uncle. You had better go in. I'll talk to him. Where is your brother? I'll come down, Uncle. Alfredo is in his room. Walk him until he cools down. Then take him to the stable. See you, Cristobal. Then you know what happened this morning? Of course. Your brother was with Marta Camargo. He is very bitter about my marriage. So am I, my dear. So am I. But it's not a question of choice. It's a matter of survival. Alfredo has yet to learn that high power can be obtained in many ways. 
It can only be held by compromise. They were caught together. Is Camargo back? Not, Miguel. The one they call O'Brien. He rode in on an overheated horse. So I know there was a fortunate ending. What happened? This O'Brien disarmed him and sent him home. I think Alfredo would rather have been shot. Today, perhaps. But he will feel differently tomorrow. We owe Senor O'Brien our thanks. Thanks? I don't understand you. Who is this man? What kind of man? Deadly. And with a vice of loyalty. Miguel trusts him. He came here three or four years ago from the Red River County in Texas. There was after you had married and left her. Have you asked Miguel about him? Senor O'Brien has some local reputation as an outlaw in Texas. Also, I found out he will be hung if he goes back. But why? Texas is full of outlaws. This is not the reason he cannot return. According to my information, Rhys O'Brien shot his wife. <laughs> señor O'Brien. Camin, por favor. Ja, perdóneme. Please, sit down. The wine of Camargo. Good year. For him, <laughs> not for me. What do you want, Espada? It is hard to talk to you. You will not sit with me. You will not drink with me. Why can we not be friends? Tell me, when is the great general coming back? I don't know. You do not know when the general is coming back? <laughs> you are... He is... He is teniente. He trusts you. He tells you everything. So they say. Perhaps, since the president appointed him, he does not trust you so much, eh? Listen to me. This bandido, this murderer, will be an official now of Mexico. You are a gringo. How can an official of Mexico have a gringo for a teniente? You will have nowhere to go. I need a teniente. Why should you live with nothing? You and I will take what we need, eh? What do you think of that? Camargo wouldn't like it. <laughs> Give him his gun. Get water. Ah, 
Ah, you are back. Good. Now, you tell me when the general returns and what trail he takes. You comprehend. We rode together once. He said I tried to kill him. A little misunderstanding. If I let this bandido become the law here, he will have me charged. Hamper hat. Watch the door. Come out. You are acting like a child. Go away, Grandmother. I do not want to see anybody. If you do not come out, I will have to use my key. What is it? Do you know where Senor Riz went? He has been gone all day. I do not care if he never comes back. What happened this morning? Tell me. It was Alfredo. Senor Riz sent him away. He is a friend of your father and your friend too. He was right in what he did. I do not have to take orders from a gringo. You will not speak so in this house. Now go and put your clothes on. Throw him in the room again. We will have a little more talk with him in the morning. Wait.
Alfredo, es peligroso que provoques otra vez a O'Brien. ¿Es que no es suficiente que yo me humille ante Camargo? ¿He de dejar también que me insulten sus criados? Tú no quieres a Marta. Tú quieres enfrentarnos a Camargo y a mí tratando a la muchacha como si fuera una guapa sirviente. ¿Tú también pretendes obligarme a que la deje? Sería mucho pedir que dejaras en paz a la muchacha. No es muy agradable en mi posición, pero no tengo más remedio. Y puedes creerme, es más importante para Francisca y para ti que para mí, aunque tú pienses que esto no es verdad. ¿Quieres decir que es más importante para la casa Riaño? Ven. Mira. La familia Riaño al borde de la bancarrota. Tiene que pagar por su equivocación política. Supongamos que este es Miguel Camargo. Miguel Camargo. Un bandido que ha tenido suerte y ahora es soldado. Más aún, se cree dueño y señor. Hoy está a punto de ser la ley. El rey. El personaje más importante del juego, pero también el más vulnerable. Ray O'Brien, el caballo. No solo es un hombre leal a Miguel, sino que además entiende el juego y por lo tanto puede resultar el más peligroso. Y estos los peones. Espada el principal. Espada. Hace tiempo eran amigos los dos, hasta que Espada intentó asesinarle. Ahora las cosas han cambiado. O huye de aquí o tiene que acabar con Miguel. Y los otros, los enemigos que un hombre fuera de la ley, se hace durante su vida de violencia. Pero si Camargo gana... Entonces debemos hacer de él un riaño al casarse con mi hermana. 
Si es necesario. ¿A dónde vas? A hablar con Francisca. ¿Y por qué le vamos a hablar? Amargo tardará unos días en volver. Hasta entonces, nada sucederá. Créeme, es lo mejor que podemos hacer. Your canteen. Drink this, Riz. Where is he? In the rain shack. Tomás, another horse for Mr. O'Brien and go back to the ranch with him. Andando. En marcha! Viene Camargo. ¿Camargo? ¿Is coming? Sí, con muchos hombres. ¡Va! ¡Todos preparados! ¡Camargo! ¡Vamos, vamos, vamos! ¡Vamos, vamos! ¡Vamos, vamos! ¡Vamos, vamos!
Hannibal. You killed her! Sorrow is great. The guilty will be punished. I will see to it. Treat me like a baby. You work too hard being a man all the time. You need a woman. Well, if they still made women like you, I might just have a try at it. Began, if you please. But I just got it back. You know the rule in the house. The guns hang on the wall. Where is Marta? In her room. Her room? She's never out of her room. Fine respect she has for her father. A fine understanding her father has for his daughter. When did you sit and talk with her last? How can I talk to her when she's never out of that room? Buenas noches, Reese. Buenas noches, Miguel. Hello. The death of the child. I would give a lot if it hadn't happened. Well, you could take the family some money. They wouldn't take it from me. I will send my mother. She has lost two sons. They will understand. From Mexico City. What do you say, eh? Very good. Very good? Magnifico! I am the law, from here to Durango. <laughs> the law, me, Miguel Camargo. I could put you in jail, eh? Watch your steps, Senor O'Brien. It is said you ride with bandits. <clears throat> I'm sorry. All right, Miguel. In Mexico City, they permit me money for reward. What do you say if I put 500 pesos on his father, dead or alive? I'd say don't do it. Don't do it? He killed the child. Open your shirt. Look what he did to you. Don't do it, Miguel. Tell me why I should not do this. Forget I even mentioned it. It's your business, Miguel. Tell me. These people are the villagers, the farmers. They don't like politics. They hate the law worse than they hate Espada. You know, if, if you put a reward on his father, they'll take his side, not yours. And later on, they'll even say that you killed a child just to get rid of his father and to save yourself. It's the way they are. 
You can't change them. Who are you to tell me how they are? I have lived with them all my life. I am the one who went to Mexico City. Not them. Not you. Suit yourself. I've been invited to dinner with the Rianos tomorrow. I will ask Don Cristobal. Hi, Miguel. I gave him the Carmelita. So now I'm not even woman enough to do your clothes. It has to be Carmelita. You want me to tell you about that one? I didn't know we were talking, you and I. Talking? You don't even know I'm alive. Well, that's the way we gringos are. You heard about that, huh? So now you hate me. How could I hate you, Chiquita, for a little slip of the tongue? Natural in a woman like you. Passion. Full of fire. You are a very funny man. I'm sorry I even touched your clothes. I forgot. My father sent me to find you. Where is he? In the house. One minute. I'm almost finished. What's on your mind? Well, what do you say? Well, you sure light up the sky, compadre. It is perhaps too short. Oh, no, no. That's about right. You like it then, hmm? That's supposed to be for the Riano dinner? Yes. Well, better take off your hardware. Leave my gun. You're supposed to look like you're going to a dinner, not a shootout. Then you must come with me. No, thanks. Just to the door. Leave my gun with the men in the stable. I will get it when I come out. All right, if that's the way you want it. Read. What have you got against Francesca? Well, I just feel it's none of my business. It would be a favor if you told me what you don't like. Nothing personal. But you don't need the Rianos. They back Maximilian. Without you, they're finished. They're using the girl as bait. Still, I'm going to marry him. Y mejor será que seáis amigos. Seven o'clock. What time are you invited? Seven o'clock. Aren't you a little early? I'm right on time. They invite me at seven, I'm here at seven. Uh, people like the Rihanna sometimes say seven, but more than likely they mean eight. Why don't they tell me eight? Ah, uh, that's the way it is in high society. Something you'll have to learn. I'm going now. There is a man in the stable called Lopez. Give him my gun. Want me to ride in with you? It would be better if I ride alone. Gracias. Good luck. Cristobal is dressing. He told me to serve you wine. Perhaps his niece. Senora has not returned yet.
The horse is lame. He's right from foot. Hey, did you hear me? You speaking to me, ma'am? Oh. You must be Miguel, Mr. O'Brien. You must be Miguel's Francesca. My brother spoke of you. You might have killed him. I might have at that. I suppose I owe you my thanks. No, no, you don't owe me anything. Lopez, his right forefoot is lame. But have a look at it. Si, sí, senor. Senor O'Brien, un momento. There is no need for you to wait outside for Miguel. You are welcome to dinner in the kitchen. Thanks, ma'am. I'll make out all right. Hello. This time, to General Miguel Camargo. Alfredo. A toast. Another one? Alfredo. General Miguel Camargo. <laughs> Your wine is very fine, Don Cristobal. Please. Have some more. No, thank you. No more. No more. I'm sorry, Francesca. Not your fault. Alfredo, you do me no honor. I find honor a strange word to be used in this room. Sit down. Do you hear me? If you will excuse me, I'm sure you have business to discuss. I must apologize for my brother. Shall we go to the other room? I would like to, but... I just returned. There is much to do. You understand, Don Cristobal. If it were with Miguel. I am not ready to let you go yet. Come along with me. Good night, Miguel. Good night, Don Cristobal. <laughs> I haven't had a chance to be alone since you got back. I want you to tell me all about Mexico City. All the scandal and the gossip. I miss excitement. Francesca, I'm sorry for what happened. When I am uncomfortable, I drink too much. Why are you uncomfortable with me, Miguel? Not with you. With the way things are here. It will take me a little time. But not with us. Never say that again.
Give it to Senor Alvarado. Marta will go with you. They may not take it, Miguel. Money? They always take. If you give them money, they will say you did it. If I don't, they will say I have forgotten them. Miguel, I've got to talk to you. What is it, Ray? We'd better go outside. You can talk to me in my own house. Alfredo is dead. Shot. What is he? He's up the trail about a half mile. You kill him. You kill him. You kill him. You told him, so he killed Alfredo. He doesn't know anything about you. Why should I kill Alfredo? Tell me. Nigel, please. She does not know what she's saying. You kill him. You kill him. You kill him. You kill him. What is she talking about? Why would she think I kill Alfredo? I don't know. When did you find him? About 20 minutes ago. He had no gun on him. No gun? Somebody brushed the sand away from around the body. If he did have a gun, it was gone. Get the wagon. Take the body to Don Cristobal. Don't you think you'd better go? I want you to do it for me. What do I tell them? Tell them what you told me. Not about Martha. It's your brother. Dad. You killed him. she said. She was too upset. They were very close, even for brother and sister. She said Alfredo was the only reason she came back. How's Marta? She hasn't left her room. Even my mother cannot get into that fortress now. She thought she was in love with him. What is the difference between being in love and thinking you are in love? The pain is the same. I will take the money now. No, Mama. I do not want you to go to the village today. Ray can take you. After Alfredo's funeral.
Señor O'Brien. Buenos días. Buenos días, señora. Was it because of what I said to you that you didn't come to the funeral yesterday? I want to try to apologize. I was wrong. What made you change your mind? Because you have no reason to change yours. You let him live when he drew his gun. I didn't expect to see you in town. So soon, you mean? I have an appointment with the father. I understand. I better find Senora Camargo. Adios. Buenos dias. Senor O'Brien. Who killed my brother? I don't know. Will you help me find out who did? Between you and his daughter, Miguel's not having much luck with his women. I only asked you to help find the truth. Why me? Who else can I go to? I'd have to know everything that happened at the Hacienda that night. The whole story. I can't tell you that. That didn't take long. Buenos dias, senora. Buenos dias. If there is anything I can do to help. Thank you. Mr. O'Brien has been most generous. What happened over there? They will not take the money. I think Espada is in the village. <laughs> Mother, you take the buggy. It's better if I stay. We came together, we go together. You may need the old woman. Why don't you ride with me, Senora Camargo? Go straight up the street. They won't bother you. Be careful. I will send him natural for me yet. You want something, Espada? Buenos dias, amigo. Perhaps today you'd like to drink with me. Nothing's changed. One thing, amigo. There is a reward for me. I've seen it. This is not a kind thing. Now, I cannot turn my back on my friend. I have the same trouble. <laughs> you are sure? You do not want to drink it with me? Only a little way behind me. No one followed. What are you going to do now? Perhaps nothing. The village wants his father. Now they have him. He lives by stealing. A thief. What kind of a hero is a man who steals from you? No more today. In a little while, the village will need help. They'll come to me. Camargo. Perhaps a reaño, Miguel. They are used to going to the Cristobal. I put a reward on this bandit. 500 pesos. Where else can a man get 500 pesos by asking for help? 
I'm not so sure, Miguel. Even the family of the Niña would not take the money from us. Because they are afraid of Espada. When Espada is gone, they will take it. Reason will say the same. I've been looking for you. What's on your mind, Miguel? My mother told me what happened. I should have gone with you. Better you didn't. Let us part a be. He'll wear out his welcome. I told her that. Come on up to the house. Won't it wait? Where are you going? Miss Riano asked me to stop by. Why does she want to talk to you? She wants to find out who killed her brother. You think you know who did? No. But she's the only one who will tell me what happened at the house that night. This is not your business. Everyone thinks you did it. We have to find out who killed Alfredo. Let them think. Does that go for your daughter, too? She was in love with that boy. I said, let them think. They will forget. Rianya won't let them forget. He'll let you get rid of Espada, then go after you. Even a Camargo can't murder a Rianya. Miguel, why don't you want me to find out who killed that boy? I will tell you alone. Because I killed him. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes, señora. Carmen. Please, sit down. Will you care for some wine? No, thank you. How long have you been with Miguel? Three, going on four years. Huh? It must be strange for a man like you living Miguel's life. No stranger than finding a woman like you out here on the desert. It used to be my home. For many years, after my father died. You asked me to come here, uh... What is your name, senora? My uncle insists on Riaño. He was not fond of my husband. Senora Riaño, who do you think killed your brother? I don't know. Why, well, you must have some idea. Even Miguel's daughter says he did it. Miguel wouldn't shoot an unarmed man. But Alfredo had a gun. Are you sure? I saw him load it in the morning. That night, who left first? Your brother or Miguel? Miguel. I didn't know them, but when I said good night to him, Alfredo was watching us from the balcony. What happened then? Miguel left. He went to the stable by himself. I saw him right away. He didn't know I was there. After, I saw Alfredo. He crossed the courtyard and went to the stable. Did you follow Miguel? No. There is another trail. On the other side of the stable. What did you do then? I went to my uncle's room and told him what I had seen. He said Alfredo was a fool. He always said that. And told me to go to bed. Did you? I went to my room, but I didn't. Did you hear anything else that night? I tried to stay a week until... until Alfredo came back. But I must have thought. During the night, I thought, I heard him. I went to his room, but of course, he wasn't there. By then, he was already dead. I'm sorry. 
I'd like to talk to your uncle. No. I've told you what happened. He went to see the lawyers about changing the estate. He won't be back until late tonight. I've got to talk to him if you want to know what happened to your brother. Finding out what happened won't bring him back. I shouldn't have asked you this morning. You were sure anxious to know it then. Of course, I was anxious. I thought I was going to marry Miguel. Now, I know. I never will. Does Miguel know this? I haven't told him yet. What made you change your mind? I didn't love Miguel. He knew that. What I didn't know, I began to hate him. Don't you understand? I wanted you to prove that Miguel murdered my brother. You have been gone a long time, amigo. You know who killed the boy? I know you didn't. You talked to old Riano? He wasn't there. He hadn't come back when I left. Were you all this time with Francesca? Alone? What did you do? Let go of me, Miguel. What did you do? Talked. Come here. I am not as important to you as a horse. Eh? At dinner. Wine. She needed someone to talk to. I happen to be handy. You lie. <laughs> Rianya followed the boy to keep him from shooting you. You knew that, didn't you? What are you going to tell Francesca? The truth, when I see her. Interesting theory, Senor O'Brien. If you could prove it. Alfredo left here with his gun. In the morning, it was back with the others. And you think I put it there? I gave this gun to Alfredo many years ago. May I see it? Of course, Senor O'Brien. You should have reloaded it. Not necessarily. There are four left. What are you 
going to do now? I'm going away. When? As soon as I can. Do not press her, my friend. She will feel differently in a few days. I'll feel the same in a few days, as I do now. You've sacrificed everything for the Rianio name. Now, Alfredo has been killed for it. By his father's brother. Alfredo's death was an accident. It was no accident when he followed Miguel. We both know why. We all have to pay for what we have. For me, the price is too high. Francesca. I don't know. Mexico City, I think. I've never been there. I suppose you will be going back to the States. I won't be going back there. I believe you know why. My uncle told me, but I didn't believe him. Well, part of it's true. I told you. I didn't believe him. I was wanted in connection with the range war. But I didn't kill my wife. I was hiding out in a sod shack. They tricked her into coming out to warn me, then followed her. When they surrounded the shack, she hid with me. They must have put a thousand bullets through those walls that day. It was late in the afternoon, almost sundown, when they killed her. I waited until after dark, then I snuck out. I killed every man I could see. After that, I couldn't go back. Not even for a funeral. Reed.
Francesca! Uncle! Uncle! Francesca, get back! <laughs> No te muevas de aquí. Let me have a look at your arm. It's nothing. You can't go back by yourself. I'll go with you. I will ride alone again. Adios. Goodbye, Miguel. Where is Miguel going? Home. How is he? He'll be all right. And you?